What's up YouTube? Hey guys, tell me if you notice anything different this time because there is something different. Um, also, by the way, someone had told me forever ago that at the end of the uh, at the end of the volume, uh, the final chapter, there would be a a short clip at the end of the uh, video, at the end of the credits and whatnot. And I didn't watch that in the last one that I recorded, so I'm gonna watch that one. I'm gonna watch that before I watch the next episode, the next chapter. <laughs> of volume two. Yeah, we're gonna get right into it. That, that subtle piano. What you up to, sir? A very disappointing, Roman. Whoa! <laughs> I wasn't expecting to see you guys so soon. We were expecting more from you. Hey, you were the ones who suggested working with those stupid mutts from the White Fang. <laughs> and you were- Racist? <laughs> also, new possible villain? Hmm, me think so. Continue to do so. We have big plans for you, Roman. All we ask is a little cooperation. Ruby makes it a point to uh, put faces on characters that are important, so those back two characters will be important too. I'm guessing like henchmen type that'll uh, get their their own individual one v one fights, and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be brave and make an even more uh, in depth guess and say that these characters are gonna have like specific conflicts tailored to whoever they fight. Like for example, if that person on the right ends up fighting Ruby, they're gonna have like some kind of altercation prehand that's gonna make them like specifically not like Ruby or make Ruby specifically not like them. And they get their own little silhouette thing. I'm mad. Hold on. Let me just play the rest of this. No. <laughs> Volume two, let's go. Yeah, I guess you would have to reopen your shop if it was uh, completely obliterated. And it looks like they did a little bit of uh, construction work on the road that Ruby destroyed with her scythe. But she's the good guy. Excuse me. Sorry. I'm not really from around here. Um, would you mind pointing me in the direction of this shop? Mm-hmm. Poor, naive, old guy. He's helping out the bad guys. I knew you were lost. Mercury, I will seriously pay you to shut up. That's not your money. But it could be yours for five minutes of silence. <laughs> mm, no deal. Mm, fine. Why do I personally identify with this guy? <laughs> Whatever. You want me. <laughs> I take it back. Is that a hologram street post? Are those hologram street posts? Um, I don't know. I mean, are you gonna... Yeah. So how much farther? A few blocks. Oh, this place is so dull. Meh. There's holograms everywhere. Were these here before? Did I miss this? I kinda like it. Tall buildings, diverse culture. And nice, dopey people who are easy to pickpocket. That's every city. Ooh, Emerald, Master Thief! Please don't take my money. I barely have enough to get by. Mm. <sighs> You're no fun today. Welcome to Tuxin's Book Trade, home to every book under the sun. How may I? Okay, maybe I just have very bad uh, facial recognition skills. This kind of looks like that guy that Gang beats up in the uh, in the yellow trailer. How may I help you? Just browsing. Actually, I was wondering. 
Do you have any copies of The Thief and the Butcher? Yes, we do. That's great. Would you like a copy? No. Just wondering. Oh, oh, what about Vi- That was like the loudest book close. Violet's Garden in paperback. He's got it. Hardback, too. Ooh, options are nice. Eh, no pictures. Hey, do you have any- <laughs> Mine's not, mine's not that loud. The comics? Near the front. Oh, no, no wait. wait. What about Third Crusade? Um, I don't believe we carry that one. Oh. What was this place called again? Tuxin's Book Trade. And you're Tuxin? That's right. So then I take it that you're the one who came up with the catchphrase. Yes. And what was it again? <sighs> Tuxin's book trade, home to every book under the sun. Except the Third Crusade. It's just a catchphrase. It's false advertising. You shouldn't make a promise you can't keep, Tuxin. I hear you're planning on leaving, moving all the way to Vacuo. Your brothers in the White Fang wouldn't be happy to hear that. And neither are we. Sketchy tinted windows should always be an option. You know who we are, don't you? Yes. And you know why we're here? Yes. So, are you going to fight back? Yes! Ah! with that. Eh, I like the pictures. What you doing? Nothing. Just going over notes from last semester. Blame. That was a really good, kind of like seamless uh, tone shift. They went from, this is intense, to Yang is now eating whatever that white thing is being flung across the room. <clears throat> Sisters, friends, wives. Four score and seven minutes ago, I had a dream. This ought to be good. Mm. A dream that one day, the four of us would come together as a team and have the most fun anyone has ever had. Did you steal my binder? I am not a crook. What are you talking about? I'm talking about kicking off the semester with a bang. I always kick my semesters off with a yay. Eh? Guys? Yang, you're fired. Am I right? <laughs> Look, guys, it's been a good two weeks, and between more exchange students arriving and the tournament at the end of the year, our second semester is going to be great. But classes start back up tomorrow which is why I've taken the time to schedule a series of wonderful events for us today. I don't know whether to be proud or scared of- Is that a reference to a series of unfortunate events? What you have in store. <laughs> I don't know. I think I might sit this one out. Sit out or not, I think however we spend this last day, we should do it as a team. I, for one, think that- Man, that's harsh. So then we were fighting side by side, and she was super fast, and I threw a banana at a guy, which sounds gross, but it was awesome. Nice. Right? And the best part is, she's a faunus. But that's a secret, okay? Got it. And not a, I'm gonna go tell Scarlet the second son turns his back secret. I'm talking secret, secret. Whoa, chill out, man, okay? I got it. I got it. You better. I just don't want to screw this up, you know? The people here are the coolest. No offense to you guys. I'm taken. Okay, they're just in here. I'm really excited for you to meet them, so be cool, okay? You're gonna be cool, right? Dude. Good point. <laughs> Good point.
is now happening. <laughs> I've seen this scene before. It's all coming back to me. A friend showed me this before. <laughs> the the uh bread crinkling whenever they were pushing against each other sound effect was spot on. <laughs> Also, I like how so far their uh, food fighting attacks have been like kind of akin to how they actually fight. How Yang had the and uh, the, the spear. It was pretty good. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> and she's got the she's got the hammer, but it's a watermelon. <laughs> It's a swordfish. I'm so mad, but so, so actually genuinely pleased with this. And now she's got the chain links. <laughs> also, this better have repercussions. They are ruining this building. <laughs> of that are actually kind of scary if you think about it like if uh if if she used her magnetic powers on on the grenades of the hammer chick whose name escapes me for some reason uh that'd be an op combo it's kind of cool yeah! Bravo, bravo, excellent cinematography, I like the visuals, and for a food fight, that was pretty intense. I literally didn't even see them on the wall that, just then. I love these guys. Terrible line. Also, why should why didn't she do that in the first episode? The heck? Ah! 
Let it go. <sighs> no repercussions? <laughs> Bro. I'm gonna start a food fight somewhere. They're supposed to be the defenders of the world. And they will be. But right now, they're still children. So why not let them play the part? After all, it isn't a role they'll have forever. That was that was kind of wholesome at first and then a little foreboding. Oh look, she sent the kids again. This is turning out just like the divorce. Oh. Spare us the thought of you procreating. That was a joke. And this just might. Tell me where you two have been all day. What? I'm a professional sweetheart. Pay attention. Maybe you'll learn something. Why do you have this address? Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, I would. Now, where have you been all day? Cleaning up your problems. One of them, at least. I had that under control. Two packed bags and a ticket out of bail said otherwise. Listen, you little punk. If it were up to me, I would take you and your little street rat friend here, and I would... <laughs> I'd, uh... She's strong. Not kill them? Cinder! I thought I made it clear that you were to eliminate the would-be runaway. I was going to... He was going to escape to Vacuo. Mercury and I decided to take it upon ourselves to kill the rat. I think he was some sort of cat, actually. What, like a puma? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Quiet. Did I not specifically instruct you two to keep your hands clean while in... <laughs> Zoom in on that face. Zoom in on that face. <laughs> Veil. I just thought... Don't think. Obey. Yes, ma'am. It won't happen again. And you. <laughs> Why wasn't this job done sooner? Uh... Huh? Uh? 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 <laughs> Sorry if I've been a little busy stealing every speck of dust in the kingdom. You're an inspiration to every punk with a gun and a ski mask. Look around, kid. I've got this town running scared. Please camping out at every corner. Dust prices through the roof, and we're sitting pretty in an old warehouse with more dust crystals, vials, and rounds, and we know what to do with. Speaking of which, if you guys wouldn't mind filling me in on your Grandmaster plan, it might actually make my next string of robberies go a little smoother. Oh, Roman, have a little faith. You'll know what you need when you need to know it. Uh. Besides, we're done with dust. Okay, then what now? We're moving. Have the White Fang clear out this building. I'll send you details and coordinates tonight. Coordinates? We're proceeding to phase two. Bum bum bum! listen to this off screen also good first episode of this of the season uh volume uh set up some good stuff good good uh next villain intro um i explained this in a earlier episode or earlier chapter i'm gonna call them episodes it doesn't matter guys it doesn't matter uh, i explained this in an earlier episode that uh it's always important to have your next villain kind of like lined up and being foreboding even whenever you have your first villain introduced because what that does is makes them more makes you the the viewer more aware of their existence and it makes you more like i, I don't know you just want to have an established connection with your villain kind of uh with their personality their motives and all that kind of stuff because if you don't then whenever you see them go down you're gonna be like all right that guy's down what's next and what they're doing here is kind of like 
showing us our current villain, but also showing us our next villain or like the big bad, you know, and it, it's, it's a good way to like keep things fresh, especially whenever, um, you're going to be cycling through villains through multiple arcs. Uh, there's like a bunch of volumes to this. So like they're going to have to keep doing that almost, but it seems like they're doing it in a way that's kind of fresh right now. So that's, that's nice. But anyways, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, consider subscribing. Uh, it's free. It doesn't cost anything. Um, look at this graph. I might not even put this graph here, but if I do look at it, look at this graph. Yeah. So you can help me change that graph because the numbers make me feel better and I got to feed my children. <laughs> I've got kids to feed. So all you have to do is subscribe and you'll make my life just a little bit better. You'll make it so that my kids can have food fights like in this episode. <laughs> it was a good, good tie-in. Did you see that? Anyways, yeah, I'll be seeing you guys. I hope you have a good one. Bye. Bye. pictures.